Okay guys, Mackie with the Outer Circle, and today I want to cover off on the Rise of the Mary Sue. Oh sorry, I mean the Rise of the Primark. Yeah, no, I deliberately said Mary Sue, because this fluff is fucking atrocious, and the people defending it, you're just... You're encouraging them. Stop encouraging bad fluff. I, I want to make a what broke the fans, but I can't bring myself to because I rant too much in this video. I know it's going to happen. Because this subject is just infuriating. So, for those of you who haven't read the Rise of the Primark book, spoilers ahead. You've been warned. One more time. Spoilers! Now, it's not verbatim. It isn't 100% complete. I'm not trying to tell the story in depth. I just want to give a quick summary of the events, some things I missed out on, um, like his little crowning and such, but it isn't important to the scheme um, or the fluff, right? Tiny little things. I'm just going to focus on the main story points here and people's reactions to it from on my friends list, right? And then on top of that, I'm going to give my opinions on the subject. Obviously, you know they're not nice. Anyway, so... In the fluff, the Eldar use the webway to get them, um, Belisarius, Call, Saint Celestine, etc., to Ultramar. This is how they escape Cadia in the fall of Cadia. They didn't get a lift to Macrag, and they find under a level 11 Chaos Siege, for some reason, and they head down to go see Kelgar. Then they go into Ultra into Gilliman's stasis room after Tigerius agrees with them um, when they plead their case to Kelgar. And then they say that they're actually there to, to revive Gilliman, but to do it they need a sacrifice. The Smurfs get pretty pissed off about this and go to fight them, but then the Deus Ex Machina happens, and the Black Legion crash through the wall of the Sanctum in a Thunderhawk, directly into the chamber where Gilliman's body is stored. Um, but thankfully, the power of the Eldar and the Smurf friendship holds them off. The dying Marines lend the power necessary needed to revive Gilliman, and he wakes up all disoriented as fuck and then lays into the Black Legion. Then the word spreads out he's alive and he orders the fleet and tells them what to do and they overcome the forces of chaos through friendship again and Gilliman spends the next few days looking through the last 10,000 years of history. He goes a bit emo at this point and decides that he has to restore the Empire like Marcus Aurelius. But, you know, without legitimately earning it and being cool like the actual Roman Emperor, but anyway... Now, there's this mysterious disease that blinds cunts, and in his presence seems to cure it. So it goes all around his little part of the Imperium, curing the people who have this disease, but it just keeps springing back. And then he finds out, oh, it's a Nurgle disease, and it just has him going in circles to delay him. So he gets all pissed off, and he gets on McCrag's honour. Apparently he just pulls the old Goriana-class battleship out of his fucking ass. Anyway... Um, somehow it's back, and he travels towards Terra on his new crusade. Unfortunately, his fleet rolls a terrible perils of the warp roll, and ends up in the Maelstrom somehow. Apparently, the Thousand Suns shoot at them, but... Whatever. It's, it's stupid. It's just... It's a plot device, right? The Red Corsairs board and capture the McCrag's honour, and chain Gilliman with psychic chains. And that is when the bullshit begins. You see, Gilliman's chained up, put in prison on a station in the Maelstrom. But then Cypher shows up and cuts a deal with Papa Smurf. He says, if you free me, and, um, sorry, if I free you, you have to take me before the Golden Throne. And, well, old Smurfy doesn't trust him, but he agrees, and they escape, free the rest of the Super Friends, and then they flee into the webway once again, leaving the McCrag's honour in the hands of the Corsairs, I guess. Now, Gilliman and co. find themselves in the webway under attack by Magnus and the Thousand Sons, who ambushed them just before they periled into the Maelstrom in the first place, as I mentioned earlier. And Papa Smurf realises that Magnus foresaw the events and his plan is to get to Terra through the hole he busted in the Golden Throne. Gilliman is like, I outsmart thee all-knowing Psychodemon through my superior Mary Sue. And the Eldar instead suggests going to the moon, because apparently there's a webway gate on the fucking moon, and no one's found it before. Because GW is the fucking worst. So they end up on the moon fighting the Thousand Suns, and Magnus is kicking Papa Smurf's ass. I guess Gilliman didn't roll any sixes to hit, so he didn't get the D-weapon, and D-weapon fucking Magnus's ass back into the warp. Anyway... 
Deus Ex Machina, Sisters of Science and Custode rock up. Because shoehorn in long dead shit or shit that shouldn't be there. I mean, the sisters were wiped out in Millennia 32, but whatever. Of course the Custodes left the throne room just to go to the fucking moon. Now, Gilliman pushes Magnus back into the webway and it's sealed behind him, and Magnus, uh, sorry, Gilliman and the Super Friends get to go to Earth. He then orders the Custodes to arrest Cypher, and Cypher goes with them but escapes anyway, so... Okay, whatever, that happened. Gilliman then enters the throne room, and after a few days comes out declaring a new crusade. Now, what do the people have to say who've actually looked at this fucking horrible fluff? Well, one person remarked, This fluff is terrible, full of serendipitous and outrageous coincidences that lack credence or grounding in the established law of 40k. Another said, It reads like a first draft of a teenager's fanfic gay porn, combining Twilight with the grim dark touches, trying to ride the Fifty Shades of Grey bandwagon for the dangerous edge. Another said, they should have titled the book Bobby G in the series of inconceivable events. Another person, even more cynical, said, well, they clearly don't give a fuck. They're going to demolish all the fluff anyway and it won't matter. It's exactly the stupid dog shit they did with fantasy before killing it. My take on the matter is trifold. First, the revival of Gilliman was ham-fisted. You don't need death rituals and black legion assaults over McCrag. You only needed the, hut, the cut to kill it, to heal itself, sorry. You know? Or just calls new lame armour, keeping the wound in check, or whatever. <laughs> Get this, right? My very reliable sources, the same people who told me what Primarchs are coming out and when, wink wink, um, told me that originally Games Workshop's design team considered giving Gilliman Dawn's Fist and Russ's belt on his armor before they ended up with the emperor's sword let that fucking sink in these are the fucking bottom feeders designing these models and you wonder why this gilliman pisses me the fuck off second thing is it didn't need to be gilliman right the design team made this big hoo-ha in their warhammer community blogs about how oh we we looked at all the different primarchs and we just we just made what we think's the best call and fuck off you did he was your first fucking pick and you know it you lying pack of cunts why didn't you pick the khan that's right yeah you have a guy that's just stuck in the webway coming back's easy for him right it'd be far more interesting for the khan as you can easily do it and you have a wise sage albeit war focused right who doesn't want the job but he's being thrust into it right he doesn't want to be the savior of the imperium he's a crusader by heart right he always wants to have the wind in his hair to be seated in the saddle riding forth and striking his enemies down he doesn't want to be trying to fix the fucking mess that's the imperium straight away that's more interesting you have a guy who doesn't want to do the job as opposed to a guy who's already done the fucking job it's a heavier burden for the Khan it makes it more engaging. Maybe the Khan, being the questing type that he is, sets out to recover his brothers, to find where they are. Maybe it's him who finds Call and gets his aid to revive Gilliman. Right? In short, they took the easy route on which Primark, and I don't think they put as much planning into picking Gilliman as they pretend they did. Third and lastly, Chaos. I'll say this once and once alone. Stop fucking them up. Seriously, you mouth-breathing morons in the fluff department of Games Workshop have to understand that every time the Imperial Super Friends beat them, Chaos's threat factor drops. It's like a Saturday cartoon. I don't ever think that Elmer Fudd is going to get Bugs Bunny. Right? It's the same thing with Chaos. I don't think Chaos is ever going to get the Imperi better of the Imperium. Gilliman makes a pledge about how he's going to get new weapons and soldiers and how he's going to destroy Chaos once and for all. And I'm sitting here like, cunt. You seem to be doing just fine without your mighty pot armor. I think you could win with just your bare hands. Seriously, Chaos Stoff comes off as an, un as an expendable rabble. Like that god-awful Ultramarines movie where Chaos Warriors just charge from the mist and one or two bolt rounds puts them down. Chaos are no threat. You've destroyed them. The same as Tyranids. They get beat more in their own codex than they fucking win. All we have to cling to with Tyranids is... Oh, they're going for the Astronomicon. There could be a lot of them out there. Yeah, there could also be fucking none left. We don't know. It doesn't seem to matter. 
Only two places they've ever attacked have made us give a shit, right? Oyandin and McRae. Then they lost both battles, so fuck, what's the threat here? You see, GW, your writers are bad, and they should feel bad. I came up with the Jagged Eye Khan idea in 30 fucking seconds. Give me your resources, and I could put the fluff back on track. Fuck off with your Warcraft wannabe aesthetic, give me the fucking job, right? Here's my version. The White Scars, right? Similar to what's happened before. Chasing a raiding Dark Eldar force. They chase them into the webway. And as they attack a Dark Eldar city, again, could have been orchestrated by uh, a certain Dark Eldar lord. <clears throat> we'll go unnamed. Just like it's happened before. Right? Echoing the past here. Wink, wink. While they're attacking this Dark Eldar city, who should stride into the midst of the fray? None other than the Khan himself. Time hasn't really changed for him there. He's only been fighting for a couple of years in his own mind, right? Crusading against the Dark Eldar pirates and striking out at them from the hidden darkness, almost like Batman or Conrad Kurz. Jagged Hyde links up with these White Scars forces and remarks on how much they've changed. They know that the time is short and they have to get out of the webway. So, working together, the Primarch and his chapter, what few assets they have, they break free of the webway before it closes behind them. And Jagatai is once more back in the Imperium. Jagatai then joins his forces proper. He goes back to Shogris, and the White Scars all come together before him. His thousand sons. Jagatai learns of the mess that the Imperium has become, and he seeks to try and fix things. He knows that he can't do it alone. He has his self-doubt. He's wise enough to understand this, right? Because just like Shagatai Khan in real life, right? He knows what he's doing. He's a thinker, right? He's not just some barbarian savage. So he goes out of his way and he finds the other Primarchs. He does his best. He visits the rock. And him and Cypher work together maybe to bring back the lion. Or maybe you don't want to close that plot yet, right? Maybe the first thing he does is, you know, he dredges up Belisarius Core out of the webway, right? He could still have that character. He could still have the armor to bring Gilliman back to life, right? He found him in the webway. At some point, Call got lost in there as well. Maybe he was working on a project that, you know, trapped him in the webway. It could have even been during the um, incident on Terror after Magnus shattered um, the webway gate there. Belisarius Call and Jagatai work together to get to Ultramar, and then together they bring back Gilliman. Or, you know, it didn't have to be Khan. Maybe, instead of Khan, it's Korax they find. Right? And now Korax, who's just racked with guilt and self-doubt, right? After all the events that happened on um, Deliverance and the mutation that affected his sons as he tried to fight the Horus Heresy, you know? He, he's just consumed by his failings and guilt and he's just got no confidence left. He's a broken, shattered shell of the Primarch he once was and he's thrust into the spotlight. There's so many options what you could do here and you pick Gilliman. It, it just, it does my head in. Right? The model, I don't like it at all. I think it can be converted and made to work for things like the Emperor or Dawn or things like that. Plenty of people are doing it. Fine, fill your boots. I just find the fluff insulting, right? A webway gate on the moon. Elder being allowed into the, the Primarch's chamber. Um, you know, just chaos assault after chaos assault just fucking pushed over like it's nothing. Gilliman should be weaker than ever in his armour thanks to the wound he sustained and the apparent X he feels all over his body. But no, he's as strong as ever. He's stronger, in fact, and cheaper than his 30k self. Um, you know, I just look at what could have been, and I'm just disappointed. I don't even know why they included Cypher. He, he's a plot device in this story. He's there, does one thing. Oh, yep, yeah, you're free, Gilliman. All right, guess I'm not needed again. And that's it. The Fallen Angels have just been shoehorned into this story because they need to make a fucking triumvirate. They could have released a kick-ass new uh, Marnius Kalgar model. Maybe a new Tigerius model. Who knows? It could have been an Ultramarine-specific triumvirate. But it's not. 
So, here we are. Here we are on the receiving end of shitty fluff. I fucking hate it. So thank you very much, Games Workshop, for once again proving you don't know how to handle your own fucking source material. Go over to fucking Forge World and see how they handle their black books for the Legions, and maybe you'll get an idea how to write fucking Primarchs and how to write Legion stories. As it is, you guys need to have sex on your back because you can only fuck up. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below and I'll see you all next time.